Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. Sorry about the audio quality, I'm dealing with some microphone issues, so I hope it doesn't affect the quality of this video too much. But, moving ahead, right now we're going to be looking at browser data for our Chrome extension. We're going to look at how to update it, how to change it, and really what goes into the API for Chrome. So let's just jump right into it. Now, as you can recall, before we use any API, we need to update our permissions within manifest.json so that the user who installs our, our extension is able to know exactly what's going on and is able to verify what permissions they, they've allowed this extension to use. So heading to manifest.json, under your permissions element, let's say browsing, oh, let's add a quotation, browsing, data and we can save right there and within our background.js we can get started so I'll, I'll start typing in each line i'll explain what i'm doing and how this works into the methodology that we're building here so first we need a callback function this will just be a very generic callback function i won't even add anything into it now this callback will run after all the browsing data has been deleted from the computer or However much browsing data you want deleted has been deleted. So you can just add whatever you want here. And that's totally fine. Underneath this callback, we'll add the actual data or the actual meat of the code. So let's create a variable called milliseconds per week. And this milliseconds per week we'll use to determine how many milliseconds there are in a week and then track that from our current week to get one week ago, the date one week ago. So we need 1,000 times 60 times 60 again, times 24, and then times 7. That's how many milliseconds are in a week. And then we can say var one week ago is equal to today's date. So let's create a new date object. Dot get time. And then subtract this time or subtract milliseconds per week from this current time. And then what we're also going to do is underneath here, a Chrome dot browsing data, browsing data dot remove. And then what we'll use is this since since modifier, and it'll say one week ago, it takes a date. And so right now we're saying that we want all browsing data removed from one week ago. And then even further from here, we can specify the types of browsing data that we want removed. We can add a comma here, and then underneath that node, we'll say app cache. This is just one of the types you're able to do. And then let's put that to true. That's true. We need another curly brace here. And right there. All right. So app cache is true. So that what that means is that we want to remove all browsing data of app cache from one week ago. And then we can also say here just all cache on the on the browser. So that's a true as well. And I'll just demonstrate a few of them and then we'll go on our way from here. We can say cookies. You want to delete all your cookies from a week. You can do that as well. Is that that's true? Say you want to delete all of your downloads. That's also true. So there are quite a few of these that you can modify and that you can use, and it benefits to look into that on which ones may apply to your actual situation. But this is just a very basic overview on how you can update your browser data with a simple Chrome extension. Now, just as an overview, what we need is manifest.json. We need this browsing data permission to be allowed, and then hop into background.js, and then you can actually use this browsing data. Now, I won't show this in action because I don't actually want to delete my browsing data, but I hope you guys have taken something from 
for this video. And if you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comment section down below or in Discord, and I'll try to get to it in a timely manner. Overall, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.